Florida is setting up a mobile response unit here in Jacksonville and bringing in more monoclonal antibody treatments, such as the drug Regeneron. Governor DeSantis said it will help both the unvaccinated and vaccinated who test positive for COVID and are in the early stages. The governor said this, if applied early and properly, has the ability to reduce the likelihood of being hospitalized, 70% shown in clinical trials. Joining me on the morning show, Dr. Sunil Joshi, the president of the Duval County Medical Society Foundation. Good morning. Good morning, Bruce. So it's not a well-known treatment. Is it effective or reaching for straws at this point in the pandemic? No, it is very, very effective, Bruce. In fact, uh, the FDA gave it emergency use authorization uh, recently for the use in people who are early on in the process of having COVID-19, mild to moderate symptoms, um, not necessarily requiring hospitalization at this point as a way to keep them out of the hospital. Um, and it was shown to be up to 70% effective in clinical trials, phase three trials. So this does have the potential to be very, very effective moving forward. So the key here is early intervention. So what's early? Because sometimes by the time people are symptomatic, the clock's already been ticking. Yep, that's exactly right. And so early intervention based in the studies that were done was within the first 10 days of symptoms. That's not within the first 10 days of having a positive test. So keep in mind, most people don't get, pot, don't get tested until they have had symptoms for a little while. And so the, this drug, this monoclonal antibody therapy is best used before the infection really starts, to, before the virus really starts to get into our cells because it prevents the virus from attaching to human cells. And so within the first 10 days of symptoms is when you really should be treated. Once you get past that time period, it's much less likely to be effective. It's my understanding this is a, a targeted treatment, which means it's not necessarily for everyone. So who qualifies? Yeah, so that's a good point. So again, remember what this is doing is very similar to what we're doing with the vaccine, except the vaccine is making our immune system develop these antibodies. This is basically giving you antibodies that are binding to this spike protein. And the spike protein is what's important for getting the virus into our human cells. So. This is why it's important to get treated early in the process. Once the virus is into the human cells, at that point, this treatment is less likely to be effective. And so you have to use it in folks that are early on in the, in the infectious process who also have a chance to have more severe outcomes if they were to get COVID-19. Uh, the elderly population, the unvaccinated who happen to have high blood pressure, diabetes, um, cardiovascular risk factors, those are the folks who are ending up in the hospital with COVID-19. And so if these folks are unvaccinated, have been infected and are having symptoms, getting this treatment to them early on has a 70% chance of keeping them out of the hospital. So we know that hospitals are overcrowded right now and the governor's hope is it will limit hospitalizations. The treatment's expensive, not even sure if it's covered by insurance. It is for a limited population. But my other question is, is this the right focus for the problem right now? The focus, should be and, and, and has been up until this point on vaccinations. We know that vaccines are our way out of this pandemic. The vaccines are safe and effective and do as good, do a better job of preventing hospitalizations even than this treatment does. Um, and remember that vaccines give you long-term immunity, whereas this treatment is giving you a short-term increase in those antibodies during that period of time when you're infected. Um, so ultimately, our push should remain and continues to remain to increase vaccination rates here in Northeast Florida and throughout the country. The closer we can get to 70 percent of, of fully vaccinated folks, the faster we can get to herd immunity and out of this pandemic. Dr. Sunil Joshi, always appreciate your time and perspective. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.